Well, well, yes, sir. Respectfully, way over your heads here. Uh, activists, artists, um, actor, all them good things, man. <laughs> so listen, man, I'm going to say a whole little bit about something, about a whole lot about nothing that is about something. Uh, you figure that out. But um, responding to the whole Nick Cannon thing, man, I'm glad Nick tried to put some info out there. Um, man, it, it's really, I guess, obviously uh, educating himself um, I can hear how he was articulating um, and trying to give uh, the information to the people. Um, but I could also see, too, that he is in a learning stage, as I've seen one of the videos. Um, but that's good, especially from a, a celebrity status where a lot of celebrities didn't really say jack shit during, um, you know, any of these times. Uh, a lot of the celebrities, a lot of the rappers, as I mentioned, they didn't say jack shit because, uh, you know, um, wasn't no concerts, wasn't no tickets to sell, uh, wasn't no merch to buy, you know, so, and let's be honest, we already know who the original Hebrews is and stuff like that. I, I can get on that in a deeper level, but, uh, where Nick messed up at, and I don't have to worry about this. This is a beauty of, I don't have to worry about it. Just, um, even though my platform is nowhere on Nick Cannon's level, nowhere on TI's level, um, nowhere on, you know, Killer Mike level, um, you know, uh, who else has, uh, been really been chatting, um, chatting up a bit, um, oh, my man Royce the Five, I'm, I'm nowhere on their level, I'm all good with that, I'm nowhere on their level, but see, here's the thing, me compared to Nick Cannon, I actually have the advantage, because I could say whatever the fuck I want to say out of my mouth, and I don't have to worry about any repercussions, meaning, if you notice, I have a YouTube. I don't even advertise my YouTube. I don't say, hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button. No, man, it's deeper than that for me. And like I said, in my songs, y'all need to really appreciate my vision. Because after I may finish with this realm, this this time, I'm going come back. I'm going come back. And I wish more Africans slash Islanders, I wish y'all would not put everything so much on social media. I can hide my stuff through my slick raps, and um, I know most people who haven't had some education about them, who are, are articulate, who are in seek, and um, you know, the knowledge that they seek, they will figure it out. They'll figure it out through my lyrics. My lyrics ain't for everybody. They're not for everybody. I don't want them to be for everybody. I don't want a massive following, okay? Um, if I made some profit off my CDs, fine. No issue. No worries about that. But I'm not looking for followers. I'm looking for believers, people who believe as I believe. And the minute that Nick Cannon takes the Jews who, let's be honest, they run, they run music, they run um, television. Uh, Julia Servin, Dr. J and Bill Cosby found out about that, you know, uh, mysteriously both of their sons perish right after each other. After they decide they want to buy, um, I think it's CBS or NBC. Um, I might be wrong on one of those. I know it's CB and CBS or NBC. Uh, I don't find that a coincidence. But the minute Nick gets in that limelight as an actor, because he's afforded certain um, opportunities that most Africans will never have, and he, he, the money that he's made, he's at a level that most Africans will never have. So the minute you take that from Jewish people, you can't turn around and make comments about them. I can, because I'm on a little level platform right now, okay? That's why I kind of really just want to stay underground. Um, the resistance will get out there. Um, and I'm live from Brazil, so a lot of stuff that I could say, even if I was in the U.S., I'd be saying them things because I was saying it on my platform anyway. But I'm not going to ask you to join my YouTube. Um, I don't think half of y'all even listen to my EP. Um, I'm here for a deeper thing, you know? Um, that's all I'm going to say is here. It's a little bit deeper for me than rap, putting lyrics on a piece of paper. How do you think I'm able to write as many songs as I write? Okay. Uh... I have a vision, and like I said, when I'll come back to you again, I'm done. But I wish y'all would study Jamaican patois because Jamaican patois. Ever try to look up a Jamaican artist, a reggae artist in them lyrics? Half of the time, pardon me, half of the time you won't be able to find them, and that's done for a reason. 
Because if you look up Jamaican Patois, it's a form of many small languages. It has a little bit of everything in here. English, Portuguese, um, uh, Japanese, Swahili, um, African languages, uh, French, uh, many languages. That's why it's so difficult to learn. That's why you really can't speak with a Jamaican accent unless you live in a place, you know? Um, you yeah, spend some time in here. Then. And even every every um, accent is different depending on what area you're from. And especially if you live up, uh, you meet some people up in the Blue Mountains, and you don't understand nothing that they say. So um, I can't even understand nothing them say. So um, I'm just trying to tell you that Having a good, a big platform can be an asset, but it can also be a liability. I'm not even going to speak on guys like Terry Crews. Um, I remember Terry Crews for what he was in the movie and, you know, acting roles, blending. I like the movie Blended. Um, you know, everybody loves Chris. I just leave it at that. I don't put the two and two together, actor and man and cause for, for all us. Um, Africans are fight for liberation, are fight for equality, are fight for equal, are fight for justice, are fight for liberty, um, because we should all be afforded the same opportunities, the same respect that anybody else has. You know, that's anybody. As long as we're self-breathing human beings on this earth, nobody should be treated any different. So Nick had a really think this was coming even though i like the way he tried to catch himself I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully as he said that he said that and i was like oh man you you might as well just put it out there you already you already out there the minute you start and mention one more thing so i'm gonna cut this right off i'll cut this off a bit the minute you mention minister louis farrakhan and then you go up on a platform host it but one of my favorite artists ever and public enemy, Professor Griff, you already won all the smoke, you know, um, and it's kind of really hard to um, deviate from you accepted the millions of the Jews. You understand? But now you're going to come and make comments about it. And let's be honest, it doesn't say anything wrong. And I'm going to come in the fence. Um, I put up video on here um called um oh, i should remember the video um trick baby you need to watch that movie clip it talks about how white supremacy works um and how to use their our own power our own mind our own insufficiencies our own gifts and blessings against us um turn us against each other uh remember willie lynch you know uh horrible slave owner from the West Indies, you know, came all the way to U.S. to show other slave owners how to look at slavery as economics. So Nick didn't really say anything wrong. It's just that the platform he has now, it's kind of hard to really branch off that unless you're just going to say, I'm done with fucking Hollywood, period. That's why I like Ari Spears. Ari Spears can really say what he want to say. Because he really hasn't taken that money, that jump. Don't get me wrong, he's made money, but he hasn't had he hasn't got to that position of a Kevin Hart because he wasn't willing to do certain things. You know, I've always fucked with Aries Spears like that for that reason. And y'all have to think about that. When y'all want to get to a certain level, y'all have to think once y'all get in those circles and that money starts coming and certain people giving you favors, especially when you this complexion. So listen to my lyrics. You'll understand how I weave a lot of things. Um, I've seen how things work in a setting. Uh, Selma University used to be called. I don't know what if it is that now, but I can spot the things that, the signs that Masons do. I know what all them degrees mean and why you do all those degrees and uh, I'm going to keep that on the hush right there to do all those degrees at the end and end up with the, we ain't going to go there. But um, yeah, I know all those things. Respect to Brother Rizlan. Uh I don't know, man. I just feel like 
when it came to Trick Baby, a lot of us, I didn't, y'all did, turned y'all back on Nick Cannon because that movie Trick the Baby shows how everybody wanted to consider Nick a sellout, but y'all was rocking with him on Drumline and he was playing them drums and he was Nick, Nick Cannon playing them drums. Y'all was rocking with him. But then the minute he come in and apologize, Nick got to eat at the end of the day. You understand? He got family. He got friends he got to take care of. He has a lifestyle. I don't knock him. Um, I applaud him for trying to use his platform and also step out of, he took the money from the beast, but then you turn around and you criticize the beast. There's going to be repercussions to that. Notice how a lot of these rappers have been quiet as a church mouse during Breonna Taylor, during Ahmaud Arbery, during George Floyd, um, during the looting, during the rioting, during the protesting, even when we try to do peaceful protesting. Martin Luther King tried to do peaceful protesting. And what did it end up? End up getting his head cracked. End up getting took into jail anyway. I'm not about peaceful protesting. I'm not. And it's probably good that I'm not in the USA right now. I'm not about peaceful protesting. All right? I'm all about Haile Selassie. I'm all about Marcus Garvey. I'm all about Malcolm X. And it's a little bit beneath, beneath, it's a little bit above, beyond, uh, by all means necessary. It's more of just, you know, give me liberty or give me death. If I can't have the same equal equality as every other man, there ain't no need for me to be here. And I'm totally prepared, as Malcolm X said, to pay that price because I refuse to be a modern day 20th century slave. And as Malcolm said, freedom is not something you can ask another man or another race to do. Africans, freedom is something you have to do for yourself. And um, man, I'll tell you, a lot of rappers and celebrities have been quiet as shit. But watch when that pandemic stem go away a little bit a bit. And there's some more tickets to sell again. You're going to watch how much reposting they're going to be doing. Trust me. Y'all going to still go ahead and support them because that's what y'all do. Me, even if I had 500 believers, not followers, I would be cool with that. If I get to 1,000, I would be cool with that because here's the thing. I don't worry about followers for it. Jesus had 12. Jesus had 12. So... Y'all need to big up Mick Tannen for real, for real. Because he did a lot of what a lot of people were scared to do. And he got he got smacked. He got his eyes smacked for it. That's what the same thing I did to Michael Vick. Saying that I didn't put two didn't put Tupac. Same thing I did for Tupac. Same thing I did for Mike Tyson. Um Bill Cosby. Um and I, I have a hat um that's coming out. Of course it's gonna be profit. I can't get a damn hat away for free. I'm about to start posting my hats again. Do not, as an African, after all this we just went through and still going through, do not leave me no damn message talking about, oh, man, I want to buy two of your hats or I better buy a hat. I buy a, a nice, them hats is real fire. If you could just lay them, you know, if you could lower them down, maybe five bucks. Why? So you could get a bag? You need to get a nickel or dime that bad? Do you want me to lower my, 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 my cops five dollars? Man, but you don't, let me ask you something. When you go into McDonald's, you know, and you get ready to order you a burger or a double cheeseburger. Um, you want a double cheeseburger and then them to give you the price. If you count and then you 15 cents less, do you say, oh, uh, listen, um, I don't have enough money for the double cheeseburger. Can I get it? No, you can get your ass a single cheeseburger. You understand? But why would you ask me to take less on my odds? That's what we got to stop doing. Stop being inferior. Stop demeaning the value of our African products, of our African creativity, our African ingenuity. Stop doing that. You don't go in the white man's store and do that. Ask him when you want to buy something. Oh, man, can you lower that down? No. Either you can afford it or you don't. You get something else. You understand? We have to stop doing that. Um, and um, I'm really going to put a different look on selling my caps this time where how you'll be able to be able to actually buy them because it ain't going to be just relatively because I'm putting a lot of different stuff on my caps and shirts that I don't want everybody to have. Uh, may make it just exclusive for us. Um, 
as we need to start dealing with each other anyway when it comes to African products, um, African ideals, exchanging ideals, um, networking. Um, try to see if we can get those Tulsa, those Rosewoods, and you know those places started again. It's a step in that direction, hopefully. Because if not, man, there ain't going to be no financial wealth to pass on, on to any of our generations. And I know I wanted to make one more thing. I know this is a long video. I'm going to break it up. Why did y'all get upset at Nick Cannon, Africans, Caucasians, all your other nationalities got mad at Nick Cannon because not only did them speak the truth, but he mentioned what's going on when it comes to supremacy, white supremacy. He mentioned what Africans need to do. But I, yet I noticed nobody bitches when the Queen of England or the Prince want to keep their bloodline clean. You as an African is not about to marry anybody in England of the royal family. That's a done deal. You can forget that. Nobody calls them a racist. Y'all yeah, need to check out my song I did about, um, they mentioned in that song. It's called Strange Ones. You got to think. I'm not putting just green eggs and ham lyrics on a piece of paper for you to figure it out. Green eggs and ham. I love my green eggs and ham. <laughs> That's where a lot of y'all need to stay. That's all I'm going to say on this, man. Shout outs to Brother Nick Cannon for actually trying to speak up and do some good and bring knowledge and awareness. Respect the Farrakhan. Respect the, Ra the Far Eyes all over the place. Respect to my West Indian people all over the place. Respect to and still um, uh, Liberation Army. You know what it is. Respect to Black Panthers all over. We still around. You just got to do underground stuff. Got to do things underground. Social media can be a gift and a curse. We really need to go back the way they do things. Making decisions about our lives behind closed doors. Handshake, passing of a note. Rest in peace to Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi was cool. He was live and healthy when he was helping people underground. The minute you start putting a lot of stuff on social media, mysteriously, he goes into a jail because he got a certain amount of money on his... Why he can't have money on him? Then mysteriously, he dead the next morning. You got to think about stuff like that when you choose to be a big rapper, big actor, big social influencer. That ain't my goal. That ain't my goal. And like I said, appreciate me now because I'm not coming back here. Shh. We're not coming back here. This is my last time on this realm. And you listen to my words when I'm rapping. I'm telling y'all stuff that not a lot of people are ever going to see. I've already seen this. I've already seen this. I'm going to let y'all wait for this for a while too. But I actually had a, um, I've astral projected a few times. No, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I can tell you this happened. I'm not going to tell you on this one. But I said the end of the world. And I mean, I'm not frightened about anything. I'm mean, not scared business about anything. But this experience frightened the hell out of me. I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't know where I'm going to talk about it. You're not going to have to subscribe to hear it or anything like that. Um... I might bring it up in a song. I might bring it up in a post. But I'm basically going to talk about... um, It was the end of the world. And I can I can give you the events. Detail, detailed for detail. But you're going to have to wait for it. It's um, one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Seeing so many people in horror and shock. Um, I might just leave it at that. Respectfully way over your heads. You got to do some homework, man, when you listen to my lyrics. You know, I'm spelling everything out for you. Ease, respect, blessings.